Hello. Hey, what's up? It's Bobby, aka Paginator, and I'm here today with my July TBR game. So last July in 2020, I started using a deck of TBR that I had created. Cards look like this. And they were inspired by Jesse from Bowties and Books TBR, which I immediately ordered from Etsy as soon as they came out. So I've been using these two decks to pick my monthly TBRs for the past year. And since we're now starting my second year of using this, I thought, you know what, I'm going to tweak it for a month or two just for fun. So today we're going to play it like Jade. Jade from JD Ray Reads. You, you probably know her channel and she has a TBR game called tbr pursuit based on trivial pursuit since we're just doing this once for fun we're going to be using an existing board game that um i have rather than creating a whole board like jade did and this is the pop culture edition so my little mover piece is going to be this funky looking thing here with a cassette tape on it and you put the little pieces of pie around here now there's only space for six but i'm going to be doing seven rolls because it's summertime and i'm trying to do seven rolls a month rather than my usual five jade does six but i am going to be doing that slightly different um she has a system where colors mean different genres of things and she has created her own cards for this with bookish prompts on them. I am going to be trying to use these cards in addition to um, certain colors and see what we can figure out. If it turns out these cards are absolutely like failing, like for example, if I roll a genre that's supposed to be middle grade and I don't have a middle grade but the book that fits, I might just have to redraw cards to, to like make it work with the TBR Pursuit thing. Does that make sense? I apologize if it doesn't. Um, just so you know, I am slightly differently using colors than what Jade does. Um, purple she has as, as adult fantasy, and I don't read a whole lot of adult fantasy, so I'm going to be doing contemporary for purple. Um, yellow she uses for sci-fi, and I have very few sci-fi titles on my TBR. Um, having said that, I'll probably like end up picking one or two of the ones that I do have, just because that's how things go anyway but for yellow I'm gonna be doing nonfiction so sci-fi might come up in other things um, the rest are the same as Jade green is middle grade orange is others she asks someone usually like video chats with them I um, pink is YA fantasy and blue is blue blank kind of like a wild card category um, so that being said, let's get to the rolling. I'm excited. All right, here we go with roll number one, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I'm going to play like Jade, I am going to want to start with a middle grade. So we're going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, which means we need a green pie. I just realized the cards are out of view, so I'm going to slide them over here. They, I am going to go with the first four rolls from my deck and see if I can start to get my deck used up, and then we'll do three using cards from Jesse's deck. So we're going to do a middle grade that matches this. A book you picked because the title caught your attention. Okay. All right, so for roll number one, we got a middle grade. And we were supposed to find one that we picked because the title caught my attention. So I am going to go with Potkin and Stubbs. This is by Sophie Green. And this one, like, I don't know why the name Potkin and Stubbs, like, intrigues me. It just does. Um, it's, uh, like, a mystery. I'll read a little bit of the back to you. It says... Lil Potkin, wannabe reporter, doesn't scare easily. She spends her time stalking the streets looking for a story, sticking her nose in where it doesn't belong, desperate for a news scoop. And as Lil is about to discover, a scoop can be found anywhere at all, even sitting opposite her in the all-night bus station. So this is the first in a series. I have the first two. I'm not sure if there are more out currently. I'll have to look that up. But anyway, um, I am excited to read this. 
This is the UK version. I kind of went on like a middle grade buying binge on book depository last December, I think, sometime last year, and this is one of the ones that I picked up and still haven't got to yet. Roll number two. Okay, so I can go roll again or roll again. Well, ah, uh, as Jade would say, let's roll again. This is trickier than it looks. I would much prefer to have the regular mover. All right. Three. One, two, three. Roll again. One, two, three. Orange. All right. All right, so we've landed on orange. I need to add an orange pie. Side note, if you're looking to buy a Trivial Pursuit game, don't get the one with a mover like this because the pie pieces fall out way too easily. All right, because this is orange, other, I'm going to have to get a friend to help me find a book that's a classic. All right, I've got a couple of choices available for that. Roll number two, we got an orange, and that is to ask someone else. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, I didn't feel super comfortable asking someone to video chat and insert the video. So instead, I sent a picture of three classic titles to my friend Tori, and she kindly chose one for me. And so I will insert the picture that I sent to her here. <laughs> I sent Persuasion by Jane Austen, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, and Mansfield Park by Jane Austen, and she chose Jane Eyre. So I will be reading Jane Eyre in the month of July. Again. Roll number three. Five. I can go one, two, three, four, five to pink, or one, two, three, four, five to blue. I want to go to pink. A YA fantasy. Let's hope that the prompt on the card can be suitable to work with a YA fantasy. And it says, read a book with a book on the cover. Mm, that might be tricky. We'll see what we can find. Roll number three was pink for YA fantasy. And this was a tricky prompt. I had to like fudge just a tiny bit. So, YA fantasy that has a book on the cover. <sighs> this was tricky. I ended up having to pick one that had the word book as part of the title. You're going to have to let me go with it. So we have Lost Book of the White by Cassandra Clare. This is book two in the Eldest Curses series, which follows two of our favorite people from the world of the Shadow Hunters. And it is about Magnus Bane and Alec Lightwood, who are partners and this series kind of follows them in their years together and the adventures they get up to. I can't really tell you too much because this is book two and I don't want to spoil book one in the series or things in the other shadow hunters world. But I will tell you that Alec is a shadow hunter, meaning he hunts down, um, down worlders like demons, etc., and kind of helps the world in that way. And Magnus is a warlock. They live in New York and crazy things happen to them. And that's about all I can tell you about this one, but it is Lost Book of the White, so it mostly fits the prompt because there's the word book there. Roll number four. Oh my gosh. I just realized I didn't put the pink pie in. Roll number four. One, two, three to purple, or one, two, three to orange. We've already been to orange, so let's go to purple. We will slide a little purple pie in. We'll be looking for a contemporary book that fits with a graphic novel or comic. I think I've got something for this. Roll number four, we got purple, which is a contemporary, and the prompt says read a graphic novel or comic. And for that, I have uh, another book that I ordered through Book Depository because I am not patient enough to wait till this comes out in the U.S. And that is Heart Stubborn Volume 4. I have read the first three volumes of this graphic novel, and it is fantastic. It is a love story between two boys, and 
it is so lighthearted and sweet and just mm, so good. So I could not wait to get volume four. It's not out in the U.S. until later in the fall. So I went on Book Depository and bought it there. All right, so you can see I've switched out decks. We're now going to go to Jesse's deck and go for roll number five. One, yellow or yellow. Might as well make it yellow. Slide the yellow pie in there. And yellow is nonfiction. Now I'm a little bit worried because a lot of Jesse's prompts are fiction. So let's see what we've got. Battle Ball Gown, a book where fashion is crucial to the story. I know that's not going to work. Ooh, but that sounds fun. Um, yikes. Okay, I think if you guys are willing to go with me on something, I'll be willing to stretch this into something. So hold on to your hats. Okay, roll number five. I rolled a yellow, which is nonfiction um, for me. And then I picked a card that said, Battle Ball Gown, book where fashion is crucial to the story. Now, I do not have a nonfiction book about fashion. And nonfiction doesn't really tell a story either, unless it's narrative nonfiction. But anyway, we're going to have to get a little heteronormative here. Um, which gender most like is most likely to wear a ball gown? A woman. And just before you come at me, I said most likely and we're being heteronormative. Just I'm not trying to be a jerk, but here we go. I have a nonfiction book called How to Suppress Women's Writing by Joanna Russ. This has been on a list of books that have been recommended to me by my thesis director, and I really want to read it, and so we're making it work here by very large stretches, and I apologize, but that's what's happening. Okay. Roll number six, one, purple or roll again. I want to roll again, one, orange or purple. I kind of want to go orange. We'll make my friend work extra hard. She's going to love me. So, orange pie in there. And what second book does she have to find for me? Copycat, a book that matches your current outfit. Okay. Roll number six. We got another orange, which meant that I needed to ask my friend Tori for a second recommendation. And so I sent her another picture. Here, I'll insert it here for you. So I sent her three choices and the prompt was copycat a book that matches your current outfit I am wearing my blue Ravenclaw shirt today so I picked three blue books Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay The Last Voyage of Pope Life by Ali Condi and A Winter's Promise by Christelle Davos and she picked for me drumroll please brrr, A Winter's Promise this book got a lot of hype I feel like, was it last year that it was really getting hyped on booktube? I can't remember. Um, but it was also recommended to me um, by a couple of other people. And it is a fantasy. I'm going to read one paragraph from the back. It says, Ophelia possesses two special gifts, a talent for seeing into an object's past and the ability to travel through mirrors. Her peaceful existence on Amina, Anima is interrupted when she is promised in marriage to the taciturn Thorn, a member of a powerful clan from a cold and distant arc. Upon in a dangerous game that will have far-reaching consequences for her entire world, Ophelia must navigate the lies and machinations of her fiancé's clan in order to survive this first installment in the internationally best-selling Mirror Visitor series. So as you heard, this is the first in a series. Um, depending on how well I like this first one, I may continue with the series, may or may not. We'll have to see. But that is uh, my book kindly picked for me by Tori for roll number six. All right, so you can see that our little mover is full, but as I said, I'm going to be doing seven rolls. So here is our roll number seven. 
one. I'm going to go to green middle grade and we're going to be looking for senior elder protagonist age 60 plus. Now that's not going to work for a middle grade book. So because we're trying to make it work with the TBR game of Jade's, I'm going to give myself permission to slide that card to the bottom. Um, never forget a book centering Black Lives Matter. I think I can make this one work. Last roll, roll number seven, we had another middle grade and this was tricky. The card that we pulled is Never Forget, a book centering on Black Lives Matter. I, yeah, okay. Getting a middle grade book that talks about this is tough. I thought I could reread Stamped by, by Jason Reynolds, um, but I thought, you know, I have so many books that I haven't read yet that I want to. I really want to just see if I can get a book to sort of fit this prompt. So you'll have to please forgive me. It's not really about Black Lives Matter, but it is about a black main character written by a black author, recommended by a black author, um, Case and Calendar, King and the Dragonflies. This also has additional representation for LGBT because the um, main character is gay. Um, this is about King, who is sure that his brother Khalid has turned into a dragonfly. After Khalid unexpectedly passed away, he shed his first skin for another and found refuge in the backwaters of their small Louisiana town. Khalid still visits and dreams a secret King must keep to himself that, in fact, he might be gay. As King watches grief transform his family, he comes to understand beauty and redemption of learning to fly past the secrets that keep him from rising to his truest self. Um, this author, Case and Calendar, is a Stonewall Award winning author, which is excellent. Um, uh, the Hurricane Child is the one that won the Stonewall Award and uh, also won the Lambda Literary Award and was a Kirkus Best Book of 2018. So, good signs for the author here is a picture of the author case and calendar and again this was also recommended by a black author jason reynolds um gave high praise for this book and uh that's what we have there i did it start this at one point but then i got distracted by other books so i'm gonna start over from the beginning but i will be reading this one as well so i apologize it's not exactly the prompt but it it's still gonna work for us so that is it for my July TBR, Playing Like Jade. That was really fun. Um, I think I'm going to do a couple of more Play Like Other People. Maybe I'll do TBR Avatar from Book Roast um, or G. Um, another one I really love is Dart Attack um, from Maddie at Book Browsing Blog. So I might try to work those games in at some point this summer as well. So... There we go. Ay, ay, ay. So much to read. But good news, we're nearing the end of June, and I, way long time ago, finished my official TBR. So I'll tell you all about it in my June wrap-up video. And for now, I'm going to wish you all a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.